I'm joined by Bob Tansy from the Nature Conservancy. He's a senior advisor for Northeast Asia and Greater China. Thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. So, Thank you. Pollution sniffing, an interesting job for sure. What else is China doing uh, to fight pollution? Well, China's doing a lot. There's a lot of kinds of pollution. There's air, water, uh, soil. In terms of air pollution, uh, China is cleaning up on coal production. China is putting out more deployments of solar and wind than anybody else in the world. We'll get to that in just a moment. Let's talk about certain regions uh, across the country. Which regions are meeting targets set by the government to reduce pollution, and which areas are still having a problem meeting those targets? Well, my impression is that a lot of areas are having trouble meeting targets. There's a, a long way to go. I've lectured, for example, at the Chengdu Party School on uh, Western environmental movements, their implications for uh, China. China's still at a stage that places like London, Los Angeles were out uh, decades ago and starting to uh, move forward. You mentioned renewable energy. China is investing heavily in renewable clean energy. Um, how is it helping China emerge as a world leader when it comes to these ways of, of using energy? China is driving the market. Uh, China is bringing down the price for uh, wind turbines, for solar panels, and that makes it easier for other places, the United States, but other countries to uh, turn to uh, renewables. Uh, renewables are good. Renewables take pollutants out of the air by substituting cleaner uh, energy. Uh, no method is perfect, and one of the goals of Nature Conservancy actually is to see that such deployments go forward with the least harm. We're actually very good at spatial planning, and uh, we're working with the National Development Reform Commission Energy Research Institute to apply that spatial planning to where do you put those solar arrays, those uh, windmills, if you will. But it takes longer than people think, right, to fully convert. Um, you know, China is working quickly to get all these things up and running, but uh, as you said, some regions are still having a hard time reaching these targets. It's true, and conversion to renewables is not the only uh, factor. Air pollution is uh, very complex, and when people talk about smog or umai in uh, Chinese, that's basically ozone, and that's probably the most complex one uh, to get at because there's different kinds of sources and it travels in different fashions across boundaries. There is a new report, new research that suggests that uh, lack of airborne dust is actually making pollution worse. What do you make of that? I, I don't have any special uh, information or comments on that other than uh, what you need is a complete systematic approach. Recently, we were honored that the Chinese embassy asked the Nature Conservancy to convene ourselves, three other NGOs, uh, a, a independent consultant named Mary Gady, and uh, we made seven presentations across the whole uh, range of causes and possible uh, solutions. Uh, you have to take a systems approach, and also, I would say, if you want to talk about dust. Uh, you also need to look at China as an ecosystem and also look at what each of us as individuals can do, whether that's reduce, reuse, recycle, or personal decisions in terms of commuting, etc. All right. Bob Tansy, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you.